What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and today I'll be sharing my thoughts, expectations and initial impression of the Fire Emblem 16 trailer that we got at E3. So right off the bat we can see three main nations and we do have three lords from each of these nations and the first thing I thought and I'm pretty sure many people also did is that their art style is quite similar to Persona and I don't really dislike that kind of style but uh, for a Fire Emblem game, it will take some time for me to get used to it. Edelgard is actually voiced by Christina V and she also voices Lachesis and Athena in Heroes. So that's interesting and Edelgard is an actual German old name and they didn't just have an anagram of Edge Lord for her name for memes. And out of all of these lords, Claude looks like most appealing to me and he's also a bow lord which is quite unique. And we also see a queen or a goddess of some sort in the middle of a battlefield. Completely unflinched when blood is flying around her. And let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think we have seen blood in any cutscene for a FE game. And uh, for Path of Radiance, like for the Grail and Black Knight scene, we didn't really have anything. For Fates, there wasn't really any of that. And even in Echoes, like for the endgame cutscene, there wasn't really any kind of actual blood. So I find that fascinating with the overall serious tone of this trailer and the map models are kind of like the Tellius games and just like Echoes we have got options for physical attack and magic and we also have combat arts and you can actually see Edelgard has got Vantage so I guess we will have both special arts and skills. We also have a formation command and I'm guessing this lets you make formations of different kinds with your troops because one of the lords actually makes a triangle formation and runs through the enemy and maybe different characters can lead different formations and formations could affect your support and your stats. Durability is also back which I'm fine with and you can see soldiers in the background all the time in the battle and there's not a single battle in this trailer where we see a true one-on-one -on -one combat like we're used to. I mean you could tell these soldiers are not just for the visuals because you can see them getting hit with the arrows. It is quite similar to Advanced Wars actually. I loved those games as a kid and it also takes some inspiration from Warriors and Tellius games I guess. I think you will be able to appoint squads to each character and that character can be the leader of their squad and I'm just guessing that you can deploy these generic soldiers or maybe they're numbered for each map. We'll have to see. I'm just speculating at this point. But I really like the squad and the formation thing because it feels more like an actual war setting but I doubt in this trailer they're fighting actual serious enemies. It just looks like training to me honestly in those grasslands. And we also get to see Byleth, the avatar unit of this game. And we also see him roaming around in his My Castle. I actually really like the interactions you could do in your My Castle and Fates. But as for the avatar unit, I'm not really too sure. I hope it's nothing like Corrin because if he's like Corrin, then everyone in this game and all of his allies are just going to be worshipping the avatar. Violet didn't really have any kind of dialogue in this trailer, but he was shown in a battle. So I guess he's not really a silent tactician like Mark. But in this trailer, Edelgard says that he's their instructor, which is different, I guess. And I hope they focus more on the lords instead of the avatar. And since we have got an avatar unit, we could see second gen units. And I hope its implementation makes some kind of sense. Because in Fates, the implementation of kid units was really bad. And the kids were just irrelevant to the main story of Fates, pretty much. You could argue about Heirs of Fate, but that was its own DLC. And all of those kids were from different dimensions, pretty much. And I did like some of the Fates kids, but the implementation was really really weak. I hope it's something like Awakening where it involves the story with the Gen 2 units or of course like Genealogy of the Holy War. Like in general, I got a lot of Jugdral vibes from this trailer and as for the villain, we see this old dude swinging his axe. Kinda like how generals do that in the GBA games. He reminds me of Drayden actually from Pokemon Black and White and he looks pretty badass. We also see the cut-in animation of Violet. And I'm really hoping that the cut-in coats for this game are good because in Echoes we had some really generic coats, honestly. And finally, we see some sort of a divine dragon, I'm assuming, sleeping on a throne. She probably has a lot of story relevance and she's just uh, taking a nap of like a thousand years like they do. And uh, this game did get delayed to spring of 2019, 
I'm hoping it's for the best because Breath of the Wild got delayed quite a bit and it came out to be a masterpiece. Not really saying that just because this got delayed it's also gonna be a masterpiece but overall I really liked what we were shown in this trailer and I felt a more serious tone with this trailer which I don't think we really had for trailers for Fates or Awakening or even Echoes and I really like that for a game reflecting war and that's one of the reasons I really like FE4 and having some light stories is good I guess but once a while a more serious or a dark story is uh, also quite enjoyable. I'm also expecting full voice acting just like Echoes because I really really enjoyed that and the cast of Echoes was fantastic and they also just add more to a character with voice acting. So I'm really excited for this game actually. I definitely have high expectations from this game. I hope they can show us more stuff in upcoming months instead of just going on a silent mode just like before. I hope they can show some gameplay because we only know the basic stuff and some of it is quite vague like for the whole thing with squads and formations. So those were my thoughts about FE16. I would really like to know what you guys think about this game and uh, what are your expectations from this game after seeing this trailer. So that is gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.